Sakara, the site that led to the famous one-liner from Christopher Dunn, who asked, where are the machines? Meaning, of course, what tools did they use? There are huge boxes, 13 by 7 feet, that are cut from singular granite stones and polished to a glossy finish. The corners are at sharp right angles in a way that chisels cannot reach, like the Great Pyramid, implausible to even exist in the first place. But this gets a lot weirder. Today, when quartz granite is cut with a blade, drill, diamond, anything, the microscopic particles within do not slice through straight or grind down evenly. The particles that are quartz in particular will remain bulbous, contouring outwardly convex from the rest of the stone. The other microparticles that make up granite, like feldspar, mica, and amphibole, will be more affected by the cut, deeper and slightly concave due to being less hard than quartz. These imperfections cannot be seen by the naked eye. But, like a few other anomalous stoneworks in Egypt, the surface of the Saqqara boxes are flat. I mean, the surfaces are 100% microscopically flat. The quartz is not bulbous. Egyptologists could have never foreseen having to cover this up. It's way outside of their field. So, old Grandpa Dunn decided to have some fun with his hobby of having contractors make futile attempts at producing these things. The results were more shocking than even the most far out theorists could have expected. For more on this, see the full episode available below.